This question says, in the Haber reaction, patented by German chemist Fritz Haber, in 1908, dinitrogen gas combines with dihydro dihydrogen gas to produce gaseous ammonia. This reaction is now the first step taken to make most of the world's fertilizer. Suppose a chemical engineer is studying a new catalyst for the Haber reaction, finds that 359 liters per second of dinitrogen are consumed when the reaction is run at 205 degrees C and 0.66 atmospheres. Calculate the rate at which ammonia is being produced. Give your answer in kilograms per second. Be sure you have the correct number of significant digits as always. So we have a reaction going on between nitrogen and hydrogen to form ammonia. In many of these questions, I looked at several examples, you may be asked to write the, the a reactant or a product that you're not familiar with. Just simply Google it. You need a balanced chemical equation. So in this case, our balanced chemical equation is nitrogen gas plus hydrogen gas, both are diatomic of course, yields ammonia, which happens to be NH3 gas. So we need to balance this. Well, if we have three hydrogens on this side and two on this side, that's not going to work out probably. So I'm going to put a two here. That'll give me six hydrogens over here, which is an even number. It will also use my two nitrogens. So I have N2 and two nitrogens. But to balance, I need three hydrogens. So now we have a balanced chemical equation. One thing to consider here is rate doesn't really make a big difference in how you're going to approach this problem. You are given a volume of hydrogen, excuse me, a volume of nitrogen, as well as a temperature and a pressure. So you know how quickly this is being consumed. If you know for every one of the mole of this that's consumed, you're going to make two moles of this. So even though it's a per second thing, that doesn't really make a difference. Well, how are you going to figure out how many moles of this are consumed? Well, you're given a gas, you're given a volume, a temperature, and a pressure. The ideal gas law is going to come into play. So PV equals nRT, where N equals PV over RT. Plug in, the pressure is given, excuse me, 0.66, 0 0.66 atmospheres, and that's only two significant figures, times the volume, it's already given in liters, 359 liters. R is a constant, 0 0.08206, that's liter atmospheres per mole K. I'm not going to write that all out. Times the temperature. Remember that for the ideal gas law, the temperature has to be in Kelvin. So you take your 205 degrees C and you add to it 273 and you get 478 Kelvin. When you do all that work, you get 6.0458 moles of nitrogen. Note that there's two sig figs, because this is two sig figs. And this is technically per second. So this is how many moles are being consumed per second. We now need to convert from moles of nitrogen, using the balanced chemical equation, to moles of ammonia, to grams of ammonia, but then to kilograms of ammonia. Note that the per second just goes along for a ride. So this is basically a dimensional analysis problem. So we're starting with moles of nitrogen per second, but again it just goes along for the ride, to moles of ammonia per second again, to grams of ammonia again per second, to finally kilograms of ammonia, and of course it's still per second. So this is essentially our plan of attack. This is very similar to problems that you've done in the past. The only new twist here is that it has this per second thing, which you don't really need to worry about. So starting with 6.04058 moles of N2 times, we want to convert to moles of ammonia. Well, we use, need to use our balanced chemical equation. In our balanced chemical equation, we put one mole of N2 on the bottom, two moles of NH3 on the top times. Now we want to go to grams of NH3. Well, we need the molar mass of NH3. It's one mole of NH3 on the bottom, 17.04 grams of NH3 on the top from the periodic table, times, now we not need to go to kilograms, well, there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. 
So that's exactly how you would have done it in the past. The only difference is now this has this weird per second thing, but it doesn't matter. It's, you're going to get kilograms per second over here. You're going to round to two significant figures because again, this is the sig fig, and you're going to get 0 0.21 kilograms of NH3 per second. So again, to review very quickly, use PV equals NRT to find the moles of the gas. Then use dimensional analysis to find whatever unit it is for the other uh, product that they're asking about, or for the other product for the reactant that they're asking about.